Hello again, <clears throat> everyone. Back to Gran Turismo 7, the real driving simulator, as they like to call it. Uh, is it? I don't know. This is not the time for the discussion. Uh, I started playing Gran Turismo 7 yesterday, and today I'm going to follow the Gran Turismo Cafe menu books, uh, just because I think this is a well implemented. Uh, a way to encourage player to follow the career path and you know give you something to do, kind of guide you through the game. Cannot complain about it. I think it's a really good part of the game. I was, uh, I was, I will admit that I was laughing when they introduced when they were talking about the cafe before the game was released. Like interesting as a huge feature, and their talk didn't give that feature a justice because yeah i think it actually is a quite well implemented feature so world map uh what's that what's that brand central okay yeah i'm not buying new cars uh scapes i'm not taking any pictures let's see what they uh would ask me to do it at a world circuit uh, <clears throat> i think there's some kind of championship waiting for me uh yeah talk looks like i'm getting old Racing parts, oh wow. Um, I'd stay on the comfort. Let's do some. Oh, what's in this in the racing? Uh, I have to move the camera so I can see how that influences my car. Um, like that. There we go. Okay, so the cameras in the middle should should be out of my way. If I go racing, semi racing clutch and flywheel. No brakes upgrades here. I want brake upgrade. Club sport. There are some brakes upgrade here. Sports brake kit. Okay, but in racing, there's even better brake upgrades. Slotted discs and drilled discs. How does it influence the car? 460. 160. Not a big difference. The same, actually. I would love to know what's the difference between those two. I guess this does uh, pull down better. Racing brake pads. Okay, let's go. Yeah, let's go this. And... Um, Okay. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so why does why do I have two options if they just say? Mm hmm. Okay, so this is just a preference of the look rather than the performance. I'll go with this one. Okay. Oh, I can finally buy that and then have some influence on how that car is going to behave under braking, I wanted. Some parts are very expensive. Wow, 19,000. In, uh, in Motorsport 7. Man, the more you talk about this, the more hungry I am to play it. Can I, are there any things I can 
customizable computer. I don't want to go too heavy with that upgrade. Uh, I'll put something a bit cheaper. That would reduce the quality, yeah, okay, I'll upgrade at the brakes. Um, I don't want to... Sp uh, okay, when it comes to hot hatches, I would say it either Honda Civic Type R, that's hot hatch, right? Or Ford Focus. I remember these two always were rated quite well in Top Gear program. So, yeah, why not to give them some chance? I get the computer. And a sport, uh, oh no, I had the racing filter. I had the. Uh... Yeah, they also look nice, I think. Both both Honda and Focus uh, look quite good. But if you like Renault, you can go for the Renault, right? That's also a hot hatch. Like uh, Clio or Megane. No, is Clio a hot hatch? I know Megane is. A Clio as well, I think. Yeah. They both are. Okay, I've. Put some upgrades on the car, and I will retry. I will retry that uh, championship. We'll see if that improves my car in a way that I can actually do it. Oh yeah, definitely. Volkswagen Golf R's, uh, they sound amazing. The Golf R sounds amazing. Uh, in real life at least. Not sure how they implemented it in Forza. Audi RS3. You know what? When it comes to Audi S3, I prefer the sedan version. It's a nice short sedan and I really like how it looks like that uh, that Audi S3. But of, of course S3 is not RS3, so that's the difference. But, yeah, I wouldn't go with Audi myself. Golf, why not? I think I'm big time here. I don't know what's happening. Okay, let's do it this time. Because it's getting annoying. I mean, if, they, if the developers do a good job, those trucks look very convincing, right? I'm too slow in these corners. The thing is, I don't know them and I'm afraid I'm going to hit the wall. Like this one. Yeah, and I hit the wall. And there's another one, bloody hell. I don't care anymore, I just want to finish the bloody race. Man, it doesn't matter. As long as you're enjoying it, who cares if it's fake or not. Like, I don't like fake trucks. I don't think they... Uh, they enrich the game. I think it's better, but of course it's cheaper for developers, right? They don't have to pay for the licenses of the real-life trucks. But I don't like them. I don't know them. Like this one, I'm drag racing it on at the moment. I don't know the truck. I'm making a lot of mistakes because I don't know the corners and I don't want to learn it because it will be useless to me besides Gran Turismo. So once I go to Casa Corsa or Project Cars 2, Learning this truck does not benefit me in any way. That's why I don't like fake trucks. I can go on any real life truck and I can race straight away because I know every single corner by heart. When it comes to fake trucks, uh, annoying.
Oh, finally, okay. <laughs> That's what was happening to me in uh, Project Cars 2. I actually had to reduce their aggressiveness. I was running the game at 100 aggressiveness to start with. They were crashing into me like hell. They were they were going into the corners like I wasn't there. I had to reduce the I had to reduce the aggressiveness of the AI to 70. And even though it's now at 70, they still sometimes do a crazy maneuvers. Like they still can be quite aggressive in Project Cars too. And uh, in Gran Turismo, I found out that sometimes they ignore my that I exist. Like. They can be, I can be next to them in the corner and they will just turn into me. But of course in Gran Turismo there is no damage, so I don't care. In Project Cards 2, yeah, that usually means end of the race if they do something like that. Well, uh, I guess they set up the AI oh, oh, in a way that you can actually fight with them. Is there a difficulty? Uh, can you change the difficulty level in motorsport? Maybe you need to increase it. So they drive faster for the chicane. I don't know, I'm just guessing here. Oh, that's nice, man. Expert sounds like uh, quite a high difficulty. They are quite packed here. I think... Uh, Oh, come on, man, just stay on the left. What an asshole. They're driving in the middle just to make it harder, right? Overtake. Oh, that's cool. Brands had such a nice racetrack. The Indy is a bit short, but still. The first corner and then the drive uh, uphill and then the uh, harping. Really, really cool. I was at Brands Hatch uh, a few times. The elevation gain is actually huge there. You cannot see it in the game or on the pictures. Like when you're there and you can walk around the truck, the elevation gain on Brands Hatch is big. Super cool, really.
Oh, it's in the rain as well. Oh, that's cool. I love when the game have uh, when the game has a change, changing weather. The best thing is when the weather is actually dynamically changing. So that's beautiful stuff. Obviously, makes sense in the long races. Okay, I'm done with this one. Finally, didn't enjoy this one. I have to say. Back to cafe. Let's see what they have for me there. A multiplayer, okay. Yeah, I'm not listening to the guy. Let's see what's here. Japanese front rear sports cars, front engine rear drive, uh, a Mazda Roadster, the 89 one, cool car, and of course the A86. Okay, let's do it. Okay, have you heard the term ever before? Yes, I have. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's see if I need a specific car to race there. Uh, sport is now open. That's multiplayer, I guess. Oh, that's multiplayer. So what's the difference? First, my garage. I have, uh, I have something new there. Oh, I have a roulette of despair. Let's do it. I'm going to call it. This is bullshit. This is the fifth time in a row I got the lowest pile of money. Yeah, okay, I don't care anymore. It just it's just getting laughable now at that stage. Uh yes, what 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 is this? A Lexus. <laughs> Six time in a row, the lowest pile of money. was racing of that what's that a clear okay i haven't used that one yet mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. a little abarth cool that's a cool car a gto twin turbo that's four wheel drive i think yes it is that's amazing car i remember it from grand turismo one and two uh, Nissan Silvia, that is FR. Okay. Um, you could always stream. I could have a look. Okay, let's go to World Circuit. Asia, Oceania. So it's Tokyo Expressway again. I'm going to scrolling. Um, I'm going to throw up if I have to race on that track again. Stupid Tokyo Raceway. Uh, high speed ring. Yeah, the old classic. That one's good, even though it's a fantastic track. This one's good. Let's do the Tokyo so I can get rid of it. FR challenge. Uh, my assumption is I will need a FR car. Yes, I will need a FR car. So change the car. I can use the Sylvia, which is 370 pp. And what is the recommended?
Mechanical damage, they at least implemented that here, okay. Let's try to do... Need to get drifted camera to the right now. Oh, suggested PP is 450, so my car is under... Would underperform here, I think. I'm going to upgrade a little bit. Actually, I don't like that car. Should I buy a new one? A nice FR car, something I like. I don't want to drive something. I I, I really don't. It looks ugly. Uh, I don't think I've got any American cars. Let's see what they have in offer when it comes to FR. A Mustang would be nice. Um, here we go. That's a beautiful FR. Uh, what's the? That's too powerful, though. I don't want to overpower them by a huge margin. Camaro, do they have Camaro? Another beautiful FR car from US. That's also too powerful. Oh, that's... Uh, that Camaro is amazing. What about Dodge? I, get, I guess the Charger... They had a normal version of Charger, maybe. But they would probably have the Hellcat. Yeah, they've got Hellcat. That's even more powerful. Another amazing car. Uh, I don't want a Tesla. Oh my gosh, I don't want a Tesla. Um, that would be what? DeLorean. No. It's famous because of the movie, but it's an ugly car. That's beautiful, but it's too powerful. I guess American American cars are too powerful at that stage. Let's go to Asia. Maybe something from Toyota. 86 would be good. Or even the limited edition. GT Limited, it's the RZ. I'm just trying to see the difference. Actually, I prefer the limited edition, the way it looks. And it's only 31,000. Okay, I will remember this one. Oh, those are nice cars. They're a bit more expensive. Of course, Sylvia would be good. For... Never seen this one or heard about it. A Z Performance. Ah, uh, you cannot, you cannot put the links. Yeah, I guess Twitch has quite a lot of limitations. When I think Honda, I think MR, exactly. I cannot think about uh, FR Honda, they're usually MRs. Mazda. Hmm. That is a nice car. Oh, that's also FR. I didn't know. The RX-8. They have RX-7. Wow, that's expensive. I cannot afford it. You whisper. Oh, I don't know how to see that. Uh, the whispers, actually. I don't have any indication of a whisper here. Let me just see if I can... Wait, I think I found it. Okay, cool. That's from the game itself. The the R S uh, R S three. Yeah, pretty cool. I like the huge uh, front grille of the Audi. 
And it's good it's red. They're saying the red cards are the fastest, right? <laughs> That's pretty sweet. Okay, I'll go with the Toyota 86, uh, the special edition, the limited edition, this one. Seven colors. This one actually looks quite good. I go orange. Let's purchase the car. Uh, 31,000. No worries, man. Yeah, I love GT6 as well. It's qu quite a good car. Let's change to it. Uh, I'm 441. <clears throat> Maybe I should upgrade a little bit just to get above 450, which is the recommended. Let's see what tires I have. Soft comforts, yeah, I can stay with those. Let's add the computer, that's 446. Uh, and it's always good to good the brakes. This time I'll go. No, this will be enough. 454. And the brake parts, that reduces it to 54.11. That is interesting. That's something I don't understand. Why racing brake pads reduce? What I do they tell me about it? Okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to buy them anyway. I'm not sure why it's reducing the PP. Do they don't go well with... Those are just discs, right? Those are parts. Do they have to go together? Yeah, whatever. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's racing. Let's go racing. Asia, Oceania, Ocean, Oceania. Uh, Tokyo Expressway. Oh my. Get rid of this one. Let's see if I still remember it. Mm, a quick look at the settings, car settings. Comfort softs, yeah. Uh, assists, manual, zero. I'm driving quite a new car, so ABS is warranted as week. Let's start. I'm wasting my time here. <laughs> that was uh, that was a scary moment. I think that was the first time I remember about a right-hander that it's actually a uh, slower corner than it looks like. I always go there full throttle and hit that wall on the left.
almost feels like it's raining here. I know it's not because I'm in the tunnel, but that's what it feels like. I thought it would be too fast, I was lucky. Oh, that's the corner I always forget about. Somehow I survived it this time. over steering oh I'm glad I'm done the truck hate it and they have something wrong with the time zones there I started in kind of daylight and finished in night in just two laps accelerated uh, accelerated uh, time is just stupid either do a 10 lapper or 20 lapper or something very long where it makes sense or just don't do it at all. Okay, the next one is high speed ring. Hopefully, that race truck, mm -mm. even though it's fantasy, it makes more sense. Okay, some guy called Simons wants to talk to me. Hi there, I'm Matthew Simons. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. Growing up, I was obsessed with the Japanese Touring Car Championship. And because I'm particularly a fan of Nissan, I've decided to race in a Nissan Silvia today. Good choice, I guess. Good choice. Let's do it. Let's race them. I think this is the reversed version. Oh man, nice breakfast. Egg, eggs and bacon. I would add uh, baked beans to that by Heinz. Or even went for a uh, full English. Full English breakfast is what I love. Um, yeah, I only had two coffees. I'm thinking about a third one now. Come on, go to the left. I know you won't. Thank you. I didn't have X today, but my son had uh, some X today. He asked me for them specifically. Coffee is life, I agree. Oh, I have a six gear. That's a surprise, I didn't expect that. That was a big twitch. It's a good car. Uh, I didn't like the first race just because I don't like the race truck. It's that uh, Tokyo Expressway. It's horrible. 
feels strong, but I like this truck. It's a, it's a fantastic truck, but it's a classic from Gran Turismo 1, 2, maybe 3 and 4, don't remember all of them. That car, even though it's not like super sports car, but it can cause quite a lot of uh, oversteer, which is fun. So third gear, and I spun a few times now on third gear on that uh, first race on a, on a comfort tire. So those are not sports tires or racing tires, just just comfort. Yeah, it's not super fast car. It's just fun to drive at that stage of the campaign or career career in Gran Turismo. Yeah, I'm doing 210 at the moment, 212 and so on, but yeah, I cannot complain, fun to drive in that game. I think part of the fact that it's fun to drive is because it was on uh, comfort tires, so you know, the crappiest tires, so it requires a bit of... You have to be careful with it, because just because of the tires, more more because of the power. I guess it wouldn't be as fun if I purchase some kind of racing tires for it. That would have uh, too much grip. Okay, I acquired the last car from that uh, menu book. And I can move on to the next one. Let's go back to the cafe. Yes, let's go back. Congratulations, you've got all three cards. This completes your Japanese FR Sports Cars collection. Lovely. Once you've collected your rewards, I've got some stories to tell you about these cars. I'm going to listen. So, what's that? Steep Forest Raceway. That's another classic from the old Gran Turismo games. Didn't know it's in Switzerland, but I think it's a fantastic truck anyway. Vauxhall, <laughs> or Opel, as they call them in Europe. Are they called Vauxhall in US, or are they called Opel in US? Because in UK they're Vauxhalls, the rest of the Europe, they're Opel. S13, Sylvia, okay. And of course the AE86 model. Corolla Levin, commonly referred to as the 86. Yes, very well known. Nostalgic favorites of Japanese car enthusiasts. Okay, so it's a Vauxhall. Oh, the Toyota 2000 GT, amazing car. Looks looks brilliant. This one less so. Oh, the GTR, of course. Okay, what's the new one? New menu book, number 11. Oh, some more uh, hot hatches. I'm only missing one here. I have the DS, I have the Clear, I need the Peugeot. Sport 208 GTI. So that should be easy. Yeah, I think I can bring him all free.
they have to be a huge fans of, uh, of Fiesta then. <laughs> so, I need the Peugeot, I've got the other two. Complete the book. Um, and we will go to Italy, Sardinia. Third place or higher, Sunday Cup 500. I have to use the European car, United Kingdom, Germany, France, Italy, and Austria. And what is the recommended? Recommended PP is 500, so we're getting into... Oh, okay, that makes sense. If that's auto shop, they've got access to probably a lot of different cars. Okay, so I have to use European car. And I need something with the range of 500 to have a chance. Hmm. How about that Polo? Yes, it has a nice color to it and it's already been tuned a little bit, I think. Yeah, I'm going to use this one, but I need to tune it a little bit. Uh, okay, so what can I get it? Definitely brakes, my favorite. I'll do different. I want the parts first, and then I want brakes. Okay, that was strange. Almost looked like it reduced the my PP. I need to go and check that. Brake balance controller, please. That doesn't improve my uh, PP though. Racing air filter, yeah, why not to? Racing intercooler, yeah, why not to? Ah, uh, that's small upgrade, not worth it. Those are too expensive. Racing exhaust manifold. Yeah, that's not too expensive, I can get that. Going to look what else can we buy it for a reasonable amount of... That would reduce it, right? That still improves it. Okay, interesting. That's sport, intercooling... Okay, I don't know how that works. I think I can get the computer in sport. That will be cheap and that will give me some boost. Yeah, let's go with the silencer as well. That will reduce it, right? That improves it. Oh, I need to buy them and I need to check that. What are my tires? Comfort Sport. But I think that Abarth is quite powerful, isn't it? It's a small car, but uh, has a lot of horsepower. And it's light as well. Um, it has the advantage of being a light car. And it looks cool. The new, the new Abarth, they, looks, they look really cool. Though it's, the Abarth is quite expensive actually. I checked them once. Um, car settings, uh, detailed. Now, where can I change parts? Can I change parts here? I can. Brakes. So, I can either go normal. Which reduces it. Or I can go sports. Brake parts. I can go normal. Which reduces, which improves it. I don't understand it. When I go sports, that reduces my PP. And when I go racing, it's still less than with with normal. That's really strange. Handbrake. Wow, I can change the handbrake for drifting. Okay. And another thing which was surprising to me, was it?
Okay, I'll go with what I have. I will keep the ABS because this car is actually quite modern. <clears throat> Are they installed? Sports medium, they are. Okay, there's another guy, he wants to talk to me. Hi, my name is Mikhail Hizal, I'm from Germany. When did I become interested in cars? From a very young age, I assure you. I must have been no more than three. Oh wow. I'm looking forward to this race and I'll be going all out to win it. What is he driving? That's the third car. Is it the Mercedes AMG? It is. A45. A good choice of a car. Okay, let's see how that car drives on sports tires and then comfort. Feels better. It's definitely more grip than it used to be. The Clio Sport V6, that was a beast, but well, it still is. Change for the load cell settings or to the load cell settings. That's that AMG. Sure, man, sure. Some heavy braking there in front of me. A bit too wide here. was close, but not good enough. Of course, P2 is enough for the menu book, but it's not good enough for me. But I'm going to repeat it and see if I can win it. Okay, I achieved what was needed for the book, but I want P1 on this truck. Oh, there's so much clicking in this game. Just let me click retry straight away. Messed up, messed up. 
That guy in the first place is really fast out coming out of the corners. I'm not sure what he's driving, I don't recognize that car. As long as he stays behind that uh, Renault Megane, I think it is. It's very manageable, but as soon as he gets to the first, he's getting really, really fast. I don't know what he's driving though. I don't recognize that car. And it gives me the name rather than giving me the name of the car. Oh, they fighting harder. bloody fast in that white car whatever it is Ah, that was Alpine, A110. Is that Alpine real wheel drive? Almost, uh, the way he was accelerating out of the corners, feels like he had advantage of the real wheel drive. I actually have to check that, I'm so curious. Uh, okay, cafe, we finished another Another challenge. Yeah, those are the three cars. French hot hatches completed. Congratulations, you've got all three cars. This completes your French hot hatches co collection. Once you've collected your rewards, I've got some stories to tell you about these cars. Another stupid roulette ticket when I will get the lowest possible reward, as with the previous billion I did. I've never got anything better than lowest reward. Uh, collection French hot hatches, menu 11, completed. 
France holds the distinction of having hosted the world's first motor race way back in the 19th century. I didn't know that. That's a good, valuable information. French manufacturers have been involved in motorsport for a very long time. And over the years, they've tended to excel at producting sports version of small road cars. Renault's motorsport division, Renault Sport, has made great sports cars from its Megane and Clio models. Peugeot's GTI has also been a very popular hot hatch series ever since it first appeared in the 1980s. The DS3 Racing is another fun little car, reminiscent of DS models that competed in the World Rally Championship. All three cars provide the quintessential French hot hatch experience and are incredibly enjoyable to drive. I have to believe them. Quite enough to three. <clears throat> in real life. Good. Uh, menu book number 12, Championship Petite Course de France. What is that? World Circuit Petite Course, course de France. Finish in the top three. What is the hint? Recommended car, Renault Megane. I'm not sure if I have Renault Megane. PP493, that car. Uh, all right, it's time to enter the Petite Course de France Championship. The championship will take place in Osak on a track that features plenty of inclines and declines. That's good. Your aim is to finish in the top three. Don't forget to come back here and let me know how you get on. Let's start it. Let's see what... Oh, there is some little trailer for this one. Atkinson Motor Technology. Let's clear those uh, marks for the garage. Your car collection is slowly starting to fill up. The car collection allows you to read all about the cars you've collected. There are all sorts of insights to be gleaned about the history and technology of your cars. Be sure to take a look. Sure. Let's do this stupid thing. I have no high hopes anymore. Well, at least uh, even the smallest pile is bigger than the previous one. But of course, it's, uh, it's one of those. It's rigged. I'm 100% sure it's rigged uh, by algorithm, especially designed by Polyphon Digital. Okay, boring cars. This one's not. This one's cool. I want to clear that red dot there as well, the marking. Uh, I guess it's... Oh, so I have to follow some... Oh, this is so stupid. I've picked up five spots for you to start with and I've already set it all up in advance. I don't care, man. I really don't care. Choose one that you like and go to the camera menu and select shot. Once you do this, I'll expand your horizons. Oh, this is so limiting, so such a bullshit. I don't care, I really don't care. Can I just take the photo and don't care about anything else? No, they don't float in the darkness, they float on the car. Ok, 
can I just... Lovely. Uh, perfect, I don't want to share it. Everyone probably took the photo, or half a billion of people playing that game. Yes, get me out of this thing. And just let me clear those new markings. Thank you, thank you. Anything else I have to clear before? No, nothing else? Maybe all spots? Oh, bloody hell, let's just get out of here. First of all... That's 522 PP car, but I'm not sure what kind of tires it has. Uh, when purchase, does it say here? Mm, no, okay. So, and that MR, MR drive train is, uh, is pulling away in those corners like crazy. So let's see what I can upgrade without uh, overspending. That's interesting. The racing intercooler actually reduces my PP. That's not helpful. Um, yeah, I don't want to, oh, this is, it is so convoluted. Suspension would be helpful. Well, I'll be actually uh, pausing for now, uh, for the simple reason that it's already three o'clock and I have family here, which I have to take care of. So I'll be probably playing later again. Uh, I'll think how to tune that car to have some uh, chance against that Alpine. I want to thank you all for watching today. And I will be probably in two hours or so uh, continuing my adventure in Gran Turismo 7. And for now, I wish you all a great day, wherever you are. Uh, enjoy the Friday, and I see you soon. Thanks for watching again, and bye.